Forget loud stereos and ditch the twin exhaust. To turn heads these days, you need solar power. So we're trying to demonstrate the viability of all the technologies, like the electric motor and the batteries uh, that we're using in the car. And we're trying to build a really efficient vehicle. This sun-worshipping prototype is road legal and capable of a respectable 50 miles an hour. Well, I spent the last year in MIT in America, and uh, while I was there I was part of the MIT solar electric vehicle team. And I saw what they were doing and it was, it was really good getting to take a car like this and take it to the public and show them that this technology is viable now. So uh, I thought Cambridge could do it better. For a moment, York Minster had to play second fiddle as the Affinity's sleek design made it a genuine tourist attraction. Hey, just look at his face in there. I think it's great. I mean, it's part of solar power is always good for uh, you know global warming, all climate change, all things like that. So it's good to see like these prototypes being made, things like this, and it looks pretty cool as well. Fantastic, actually. I mean, it's sort of thing out in the uh, space sort of thing, isn't it? I mean. So uh, we've got nine square meters of silicon solar panels on top of the car, and they're generating electricity. Um, from the sunlight, which will then be used to, to power the hub motor at the back. So if you see, there's a, there's a two kilowatt hub motor um, in the back there. Anthony Law is part of Eco Racing, a team of Cambridge University engineers who designed and built the car. If we look inside the car, um, we'll see that the solar panels, any energy that's not being used to drive the motor, is stored in batteries, um, which you can see on both sides of the driver. These are actually just standard car lead acid batteries. Anthony was at Bootham, his old school, to show pupils a future of motoring. Well, I think it's really good, the fact that you can like run it on the sun, but not good in Britain. It'd be quite fun to do like a race in like, somewhere like Australia or something. It looks like a submarine. That's what I thought it was. It's fantastic to bring it here. I mean, this is where I was inspired to do engineering as a subject at university, so... Back at the Minster, Affinity continued to draw the crowds. But for all the plaudits, the one-man cockpit did have its critics. He's almost lying down, isn't he? Yeah, I would yeah. like that. I would not like that. Yeah. You're yeah. kind of cuddling it, isn't it? Yeah. Cuddling it. Yeah. I'm not allowed to have that. He just put his face in there. Yeah.